You asked, I saw I delivered, here's the lift. These guys are so easy to use. I was right. I left a note saying I assume it's because they're branded, and I was correct. Well, I suppose you might as well come back for another video. Well, as I was saying before, I so rudely erupted. We are back for another video, and I appreciate you for being here. Yesterday's video regarding things that are just not spoken about in the reselling community, loneliness, depression, anxiety, and all those types of things, has been a bit of an eye-opener for me. I was very aware that the community was rife with that kind of feeling because you could see it and you could sense it in people's posts and some people were talking about it but nobody was really massively openly talking about it and that video seemed to have just opened up the floodgates for people to share their experiences which are all in the comments on that previous video you can go and check them out and realize you're man this you nobody's alone in this and it seems like it's a very normal part of the job it's just how you handle it so yeah, I appreciate everybody being so open in the comments. I don't know if I showed it or not, I think I did. But when I came in on the door, there was a le there was a note from the lady who had been leaving me boxes. And I was correct, it was to do with the fact that they were branded, which I, I, sh I assumed it might have been, because she replaced them with the exact same box just without branding. I'm not gonna bore you, I'm still shipping the Le Creuset pot. Today is the last day, I've pushed it until the very, very, very last minute to ship it. Because I can, because we can, because we are our own bosses. So we get to decide. If we want to do it early, cool. If we want to do it bang on time at the last minute, cool. I've got to do some serious box resizing though. Because this is the item and this is the box. <laughs> it's easy enough to do when you've got a nice sharp knife. I replaced the blade yesterday. I wonder if I can show you how I'm going to do this actually. I want to try and do it quickly without it being like a boring tutorial. So the box is way too big. So this box was out here at one point. Now it's here. We use the off cut to pad the top. We cut the sides down to remake the flap. Where these lines meet, just here, score it across so it's able to fold down. Follow the line across. I went from a very oversized box to a nice normal size box. I think it was like double the size of that. Six to five kilos, jeez. So this morning before I came into work, I went into the reception and spoke to them about how I end my... What? Pack link parcel protection available up to 1,000 pound. Add coverage to your item to protect it from loss or damage. What's that weird little message all about now? Yeah, so I spoke to the reception about, because my contract is for 12 months up to two years. It's a two-year contract, but I can get after 12, is what I was told. But I've just spoke to them and said the minimum term is six months with two months' notice. So, for example, if you want to get to your fourth month and give two months' notice, that's fine. But I need to look into it on my details. So I'm going to look into that, see what's going on there, and then hopefully I'll be good to, to go if I need to. Like I might not even need to do it, so I'm trying to concentrate on this as well. Like I might not even need to do it, but I, it's nice to know that I've got the options. That makes sense. I need to, I need to know what my options are, because it's been bothering me for the last month of like, what am I going to do? What's going on? And I've known all I had to do was go downstairs to reception and speak to them, but I kept putting it off because confrontation about the situation, and I wasn't too sure myself either what was going on. So I'm going to need to put the printer in, otherwise I can't print anything. But I've had the conversation, and I'm. Not really any wiser, if I'm honest. If I'm honest, I've got a rough idea of what's going on. So I had to take my printer home because of whatnot. I do whatnot orders at home. I do it from the garage. You'll be seeing a lot more videos from the garage if I go back there, won't you? I'm looking forward to it. I miss working from home. 
Boom. I wasted a million on just for the Rockies gym wear. Four bags on t-shirts, two bags on skincare. I've got to keep my skin clean. I've seen that song by Shaki with just up, which people ain't been there. I'm basically going to do the same with this box. So I'm going to turn this into, into this. That transition was going to be a hell of a lot smoother, but I dropped the phone while I was packing. Anyway. All right, so two sales on eBay since yesterday. £7.20 for the Jurassic Park and £6.29 for one of the drivers. Left a note saying, I need it urgently. Cheers. You got it, buddy. I tell you what, if it wasn't for YouTube this month, I'd have barely any wages coming in. It's not a lot, but I think I'm on like 400 at the minute for the month. <clears throat> and the month has just ended. So uh, while I've been readjusting my headspace and my work schedule, etc., that's going to see me through. Because next month it's full steam ahead, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow is next month. But I've given myself some allowances. I made a bit of money um, on whatnot as well. So somebody sent me a message saying, I can see on your YouTube that you don't really sell many items. No, I hate just wondering how you survive. So eBay is not my only source of income. I've got eBay, whatnot, which I don't really do much of to be fair. Private sales, YouTube ad revenue, other different sponsors and promotions, and obviously other deals, car boot sales, basic marketplace, things like that. So I know you wasn't worrying, and I know you wasn't hating, but nobody needs to worry about me. I touched on it in yesterday's video. As long as I'm paying the bills, I'm happy at the minute. I've just paid all the house bills today, actually. Emma messaged me. So can you transfer the cash, please? I've paid that. My car insurance is paid. My phone's paid. Everything's okay. One of the struggles I have in life, and if you're watching, Ricky, not, not that he's doing anything wrong, is he's my best friend, and he's killing it. Killing it in the game. And he's constantly sh showing me updates to his life and things that he's selling and what he's doing and stuff. And I'm happy for him, man. That, nobody deserves it more than that boy, and I mean it. But what I find is, like I was talking about yesterday, um, I compare myself. I shouldn't be comparing myself. So even though I preach the advice, we can all slip into it. We can all slip into the bad habits. Right, that's those two done. Send that. What's the offer on this? A ridiculous offer. So I don't have anything else to post right now. So what I'm going to do, go to my laptop and search my contract for this place and see what the deal is. I'll update you. Just had another sale come in, so I think I might as well pack that while I'm in the mojo of it. It's in here somewhere. Excuse the big pole. Don't excuse it. Um, I think it's this one. Because I've written on it, because I'm a genius. Sorry about that. Let me just make sure it is that. Yes, Emma Bridgewater hot chocolate coffee mug, tea, whatever else on around the edges, sold for $17.99, free posted. I just got a little bit carried away with doing some stuff and moving some bits again and starting to dwindle down these shelves. I am going to go home and address this email now because it's all I can think about. So I want to get that sorted out while it's on my mind and get that sent across. So a shorter one today. I do appreciate you stopping by regardless and I'll see you on the next one. Remember, chin up guys, keep moving forward. Life is a dream. Apparently.